Mackey's Haggis flavored chips from Scotland. Are they any good or is the sheep's stomach gonna turn mine? Hello food freaks and welcome to That's Rank. When this channel was created last year, it was snacks like these haggis chips from Mackey's brand potato crisps that really were where I envisioned this project eventually taking me. As I veered in a direction that's a little less weird at times, I still have sadistic family members who are forever keeping their eyes peeled for opportunities to turn my stomach while feeding me, uh, well, stomach. So to my aunt who insisted these haggis flavored chips were exactly what I needed in my life, um, Thank you. Now, of course, to fully appreciate these chips, we must first understand these chips. So let's break down what haggis is. Haggis is a traditional Scottish pudding containing a sheep's pluck, which is made up of the heart, liver, and lungs. Those meats are then seasoned with onion, oatmeal, suet, salt, and various spices before being packed into a sheep's stomach and then cooked. It's been recorded in Scotland as far back as 1430, and it was made into the national dish as a result of a Robbie Burns poem entitled, Address to a Haggis. Of course, given the preparation, I assume that Robbie Burns is Scottish for Jeffrey Dahmer. Seriously, were you listening when I told you what it was? That is some straight Hannibal Lecter style shit right there. You mince the crap out of multiple organs, then you stuff it inside another organ. And then for some reason, you monsters are like, oh yeah, we need to put this stuff on chips and serve it to the general public. Fun fact, there is not a single thing in this episode I'm gonna claim is my former online dating name. Even I've got my limits. Also, and I swear to God, this is true. Someone out there has created a vegetarian haggis, which sounds so bloody disturbing, I couldn't be bothered reading up on it. The whole concept of a haggis alone has done enough damage to me for one day, but I'll circle back to the Franken haggis made out of soybeans and lentils on another episode. Also, just general message to Beyond Meat, uh, literally no one is asking you to recreate a sheep's stomach made out of carrot peels and beet juice. I just thought I'd make sure you all knew. Just putting that out there. So of course, sheep's lungs, as I mentioned, is a traditional ingredient in haggis, but lungs are banned in North America because stomach acid might enter the lung during slaughter and that's apparently crossing a line. So there is that. Let's be clear, the heart, the intestine, all that jazz, that's all still okay. So that leads us to these chips right here. Mackies of Scotland have packaged up all the goodness of a traditional Scottish haggis and spread that love all over these naturally grown potatoes. All of the flavor and none of the stomach acid. I mean, probably, I can't actually promise that there's no stomach acid in this. Snark aside, I'm legitimately terrified right now. I'm usually fairly adventurous. You know, I ate all the various animal parts at barbecue vendors in the streets of the Philippines, and I have had intestine both in chicken and pig, and the pig intestine was particularly tasty. It almost tasted like a steak. You know, it was really, really good hearts and gizzards and other things, you know, there's times I just didn't ask questions, but it was generally all pretty good. I don't know though, a sheep just feels very different to me for whatever reason, because I think mutton has a very distinct flavor to it. And if you haven't had it before, just spend some time down in Kentucky. Kentucky is super eager to be a barbecue place, but they realize like pork and chicken and beef is all done to perfection in other places. So they're like, you know what? Give us the old sheep. Amazingly, none of the other states protested. Uh, if I had to describe mutton, it sort of tastes like uh, meat that isn't doing very well. It's tough, it's hard to eat, and it's got this lingering aftertaste. Like you still know for three hours later that you had mutton for supper. It's why lamb is preferable. The lamb is still tender. Mutton is just old and unpleasant, uh, sort of like me. All right, let's get this bag on and see what lurks on the inside. So some early good news. I wasn't met with a blast of stink. I was genuinely afraid this was gonna smell like, uh, well, like internal organs that had ripened from the long journey from Scotland to Canada. But honestly, what I'm getting is mostly like a garlicky black pepper. And you know what? If this is just a practical joke and it tastes like black pepper, I'll probably be the happiest guy on the YouTubes today. So I'll show this to you right now. Take a look at that. This is a super thin potato chip. It's even thinner than the Lay's brand of potato chips. I'm almost afraid this thing is going to shatter in my fingers as I sit here and hold it. For whatever reason, and I think it's probably just the fact that the bag had some fancy writing on it, I thought that this was gonna be a thick kettle cooked chip, or maybe in a worst case scenario, like a fried wonton wrapper, but instead of wonton, they'd use a sheep stomach, you know, almost like a fried jerky. All right, moment of truth time coming up, and uh, there's a fine chance that it will be coming up. Okay, I'm gonna get it down. And actually, it's it's not awful. I will say though, it's also not good because already I'm getting some seriously lingering aftertaste in the back of my throat. The black pepper is the predominant ingredient. So thank God for small mercies on that front, but there is something else in here that's really 
not good. The black pepper's trying like hell to hope that you don't notice it, but I have noticed it and I'm not very happy about it. Also the chip, way, way, way too thin. You can't really bite this in half uh, because it'll shatter into a trillion pieces and leave flavored sheep guts all over the place. The flavor, it is what it is. It tastes like a bad attempt at making a pepper and garlic flavored chip. For me, it's the aftertaste that kills it. It's gonna be sitting there for ages. Like honestly, when I shut off this camera, I'm probably gonna eat a spoonful of peanut butter and pray that it overpowers this mess because I'm not even gonna be able to enjoy a cup of coffee or even a Gatorade until this mess leaves me. And then there's the chips. They might actually be even worse than the flavor, if I'm being honest, just due to the thinness of them. Mackey's is acting like there was a contest on the thinnest piece of potato that you could slice. Guys, this isn't a deli meat, it's a chip. You need a little bit of thickness, you know, some girth in this thing. This stuff could double as a glass window on a movie set. Will I ever go out of my way to buy these chips again? Uh, not a chance, but am I happy that I tried them? No. Thank you, as always, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. <laughs>